Hey everyone and welcome back to Caroline Brown's Movie Reactions. Thank you so much for joining me again for another movie. So as most have requested, they would like me to watch some kind of scary, spooky movie because I'm terrified of them. I have avoided them at all costs growing up. So now I'm embarking on that adventure, starting off with The Sixth Sense. So what do I know about this movie? I know it's a psychological thriller. I know there's ghosts. I know Bruce Willis stars in it and that he plays some kind of psychologist um, and his patient sees the dead or talks about the dead. And so I'm sure there's some paranormal activity that goes on in this movie. But to be quite honest, that's all I know about it because again, I've avoided all this genre of movies just because I get so spooked. It's like when I go on, but I'll watch it. So um, it's like when I go on a roller coaster, I am scared to my very core, to my bones, but I'll still go on it. And then the pictures that come out of the roller coaster are absolutely hilarious because I literally look like I'm seeing my death and plummeting to my death, but it's just a roller coaster, right? So I'm hoping that this is gonna be the same thing, similar type of thing where it's gonna be really scary. I'll look ridiculous, but I'll get through it. And here we go. Let's watch The Sixth Sense. Oh boy, guys, <laughs> I'm even scared starting it. I don't even want to press play. Okay, let's press play. Even the music is spooky, so here we go. Let's watch. The Sixth Sense. Ooh, the suspense and the music. What's your favorite scary movie? I don't have any because I have never watched any. I've chosen to stay away, but comment below and let me know what your first, your favorite scary movie has been and I'll try and get to them. I definitely wanna do a spooky month in October. So please give me some suggestions below and uh, we'll see what we can do. As a kid, I used to be so scared of basements. sound a little like Dr. Seuss when you're drunk. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious I am. <laughs> in recognition of his outstanding achievement in the field of child psychology. Okay, so he's a child psychologist. To improve the quality of life for countless children and their families. So he must be good at his job. It's very true though when professionals like doctors and when you have to do a lot of school schooling, the partner probably suffers a little bit in terms of has to take his back seat and really be supportive. I believe what they wrote is real. You can tell they've had a little bit too much wine. <laughs> Are you guys more of a red wine drinker or a white wine drinker? If you don't drink, that's fine too. Was somebody in their apartment or their house? Ah! Who is that? Man, don't move. Don't is that a patient of his? What do you want? <laughs> What he promised me! Don't you even remember your own patience? But why is he in the house half naked? Just give me a minute to sleep. <laughs> I waited 10 years for you! Been freaking. Some people, they call me. Aww. And said, I'm sorry if I wasn't. If I didn't help you, just give me a chance. <laughs> Hold on. Don't talk. Shh. The next fall. South Philadelphia. My name is Dr. Malcolm Crow. We were supposed to meet today, but I missed our appointment. Noticed your eyeglasses. They don't have any lenses in them. They're my dad's. Aww. The lenses hurt my eyes. Oh, look at his arms. I'm gonna see you again, right? If that's okay with you. Oh, stealing figurines from churches. And he had all those scratch marks on his arms. I wonder what that's from. Cause it didn't look like he was cutting himself. Has she been crying or is she sick? I was trying to figure out what he said. Out of the depths I cry to you, oh Lord. Aw, puppy! Did he open all the drawers? 
I was not thinking something bad about you. She's concerned. Poor kiddo, there's something that's obviously freaking him out. I read your mind. If what I say is right, you take one step towards the chair. If what I say is wrong, you take one step back. Ooh, let's see how good of a psychologist she is, or mind reader. When your mother and father were first divorced, your mom went to see a doctor like me, and he didn't help her. So you think I'm not going to be able to help you. Well, good first step. He's intrigued. You have a secret, but you don't want to tell me. It's getting pretty close to that chair. You're nice, but you can't help me. Why? What's his secret? I thought you meant the other Italian restaurant I asked you to marry me in. Oh, no. She's drifting away from him. I'm so sorry, Anna. Same mannerism, same He's obsessing same about the other kid. Things hanging over their head. And ever since he got shot, he's traumatized, and he doesn't you know what to do. Abuse. He's just rambling on to himself. Maybe your wife wants to talk to you about other things than work. I know that it makes you mad. I just... Is she going to leave him? Happy anniversary. Aww. See, I do think it's important for people to be able to put their professional and personal lives aside. Now, he went through a major trauma, so it's a bit different. You are not a freak. Okay? Why do they think he's a freak? That's bullshit. I think the kid he said the S word. Yeah, I knew it. And the kid's surprised that he actually said what he was Sorry. thinking. What does she see? That light. The sad look in his eyes. It's always there. Do you know what free association writing is, Cole? Do not enter. Quiet Could the damn baby. You, I swear, someone. Burning, I'll kill you, I'll kill you. Yes. What did you write? Bastard. I don't want to be scared anymore. Self-inflicted. Are you gonna get that? No, you get up. You go get it. I figured maybe you just wanted to get out and get some air because you'd seem kind of down lately. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Who is he? Is she seeing him? Keep moving, cheese dick. Can anyone guess what this building was used for a hundred years ago? They used to hang people here. What? I don't like people looking at me like that. Like what? Like what? You're a stuttering Stanley! Ooh, what's gonna happen? You talk funny all the way to high school. What? How does he know that? Stop looking at me! Who have you been speaking to? Stuttering Stanley! Freak! <sighs> Poor kid. It obviously was true, though. He started stuttering. He's angry. Okay. And... Right back in the left hand, where it started. That isn't magic. I just kept the penny in that hand the whole time. That's what I was gonna say. He's a smarty. Zoloft antidepressant. Oh, poor thing. She's going through a hard time. Why is the door constantly locked? So far it hasn't been that spooky. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot crazier right at the beginning, so... I'm waiting for the big jumps and screams because I think they're coming soon. Open this door, I'll break through it and grab you! We're going to put on a pretend play. It's called Locked in the Dungeon. Oh no. <gasps> no! What's gonna happen? Oh no! What happened to my child today? Poor kid. Or paranormal activity, like taking over his body or something. Are you gonna finally tell him that he's like, what he's afraid of? Does he hear voices? I wanna tell you my secret now. I see dead people walking around like regular people. They only see what they wanna see. They don't know they're dead. Imagine having to live your life like that. You won't tell anyone my secret, right? This kid actor is really good. Of course. Really believable. Not yet. Aw, the puppy.
Are the ghosts doing that to him? Or he's scratching himself? I'd like to talk to you about your boy and his friends keeping their goddamn hands off my son. Oh, she thinks it's the bullies. <laughs> it's probably just his mom. Oh, it must be really cold in the house. Look at the fog coming out of his mouth. It's mama. No. Dinner is not ready. <laughs> Oh, look at all this figuring. Back in the day when you had actual video cameras, now you would only see the iPhones and stuff. Like kids' plays. What? <gasps> Something up there? I don't see anything. Do you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck? The tiny hairs on your arm, you know, when they stand up. Yeah, like little goosebumps. That's them. Are you sure they're there? Please make them leave. I'm working on it. I wonder if they're gonna find out, like, what's the cause of him seeing the dead people by the end of the movie. Because it seems like the doctor keeps coming in and out of day to day activities to see what's going on, but doesn't really. But nothing's really piecing together yet. Oh, this is Tommy Tomasino. I am so tired, Cole. I'm tired in my body. I'm tired in my mind. I'm tired in my heart. Poor mom, but at the same time, poor kid. I don't know if you noticed, but our little family isn't doing so good. Is he gonna finally tell her? No. You need to leave the table. Aww. Go! <laughs> uh, who's that? Oh, well, the dog can see it too. Can I sleep in your bed tonight? Cole, what's wrong? <laughs> oh. I can't imagine though as a mom not knowing what's wrong with their kid. That was perfect, Anna. That was the guy that was at the door. Thanks. Are they gonna kiss? Uh-oh. Don't do what I want. I wanna be able to talk to my wife again. Oh no. How are we gonna do that? I can't be your doctor anymore. <gasps> I haven't paid enough attention to my family. I can't help you. You believe me, right? I don't know how to answer that, Cole. How can you help me? If you don't believe me. Some magic's real. I do. I do. He's seeing a repeat. The same thing that's happening to Cole. What is he gonna hear? Oh my god. What do you think these ghosts want when they talk to you? I don't know. Just help. That's right. That's what I think too. They just want help, even the scary ones. Hey! Hey! Did you just come out of his house? Poor mama. Oh no, it's getting cold. <gasps> Ask her what she wants. Come on, Cole, you can do it. Ask her what she wants. <gasps> do you want to tell me something? Okay, so they're obviously going to her funeral. What is he doing? Why would he be going upstairs? To her bedroom, maybe? It's for you. She wanted to tell you something. What is she showing her? Did somebody make her sick? Oh no, what is that? Did the mom? <gasps> it's time for lunch, Kira. Don't say that it tastes funny, you know? I don't like to hear that. You were keeping her sick. Is Kira coming back? Oh. <laughs> so he's listening to the ghosts. 
and helping them, and I think he's getting better. I thought you were really great in the play call. I thought Tommy Tomasimo sucked big time. Jeez, I hope nobody got hurt. He's gonna start telling his mom. I'm ready to communicate with you now. I'll tell you my secrets. Someone got hurt. She died. Where is she? Standing next to my window. Ghosts. You see ghosts, Cole? They want me to do things for them. I imagine your kid came and told you that. I'd that freak it? out too. You came to the place where they buried her. Asked her a question. She said, the answer is, every day, what did you ask? Do I make her proud? Oh. <laughs> Not used to doing this. She keeps watching the same one again. Why did you leave me? I didn't leave you. It's his wedding ring. I see. Oh my god. Is he dead? He died. They only see what they want to see. He's dead? <laughs> he died that night. Oh it doesn't even hurt anymore. I can't believe he's dead. I think I can go now. I needed to help someone. I think I did. I love you. You sleep now. Everything will be different in the morning. Good night, Luke. I have goosebumps. Yeah, so, uh, I did not expect him to be dead. Sorry, I, I, I'm i still a little bit freaked out by the movie. It wasn't even that scary, but the end really hit me more than I th thought it would have. Um, now it all makes sense. The movie pieces together uh, really well. I still can't believe he's dead, and he was dead the whole time. And he was there to help that kid. I just need a minute just to think about what I want to say. The ending was such a surprise. I think the director made it so that you were on edge the whole movie and then at the end it just hit you like a bus. I feel like the movie was intense but the ending is what made the movie and I still can't believe he's dead. My heart is beating really fast because it was just I didn't expect it. I really didn't expect that ending and I thought throughout the movie he was really there and but it makes sense he was kind of always there but in the background not really fitting in and I didn't catch that and I'm really surprised now that you it's like a, a movie plays on rewind really quickly and you you capture it all but it's all captured by the ending so you didn't catch it the whole way through but then you rewind and it's like when you rewinded that tape recorder over and over again when he was listening to Vincent and then he heard the voices. It took him multiple times to rewind and that's what's going through my head and that's why I sound so frazzled because it's that the ending, that what the director did made it so that the ending was really what made this movie and I thought Bruce Willis was great. I thought uh, that, uh, what's his name, Haley Cole, so the, the boy that played Joel was so believable. His emotion for a child actor was amazing. You saw the tears in his eyes. You saw the fear when he was going through. And overall, I think it was a good movie. I wasn't as freaked out as I thought I was gonna be. A couple of scenes made me jump, but I don't think this is what, nearly as scary as I thought it was gonna be, which was kind of a good thing. It's a good one to start with, I think. But I am skeptically looking forward to seeing more suspenseful uh paranormal paranormal uh twists and turns and scarier movies just because if 
if they're like this, I definitely missed out because this movie, I, I really did like it. Even though it's not a movie that I would normally pick, it kept me on my toes the whole movie. And then at the end, again, it hit you like, it hit me like a bus. Like I can't believe that he actually was dead the whole time. And it really took till the very end of the movie for me to get it, get the whole movie and it all pieced together. Overall, a really good movie. I hope you guys like this reaction. Please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to watch the full length reaction of this movie along with the other ones, uh, please head on over to Patreon where we've started a community. There's polls, there's uh, fun facts about me, um, and soon enough it will grow more and more and I'll be able to uh, provide more content. So I hope to see you all next time. Bye for now.